In honor of Black History Month, we're going to present to you the story of Percy LeVon Julian. This is a very short thing. Julian was the third African American in the world to earn a PhD in chemistry. Now, we can see how much he did by asking the question, what would life be like without these compounds? Birth control pills, anti-glaucoma medications, and anti-inflammatory steroids, including dexamethasone, which is now being suggested as a uh, treatment for COVID-19. Julian, uh, as a student, began at DePaul University in Indiana. He graduated Phi Beta Kappa in 1920 uh, and valedictorian of the school. Um, he obtained support in 1922 that allowed him to go to Harvard, where he took his MA, sorry, MS, uh, in 1923, and he kept, was kept on at Harvard until 1926. In 1929, he moved to Vienna uh, and took his PhD at the University of Vienna in 1931. Now, he had barriers to overcome because of his race. At the power, he didn't receive a dorm room assignment as a freshman. Instead, he was found a room off campus, was poorly furnished, a slop jar for a toilet, no restaurant in town would feed him, and nor would his landlady. Um, when he uh, completed his master's degree at Harvard, he was looking to take his PhD, but his teaching assistantship was rescinded when they found out he was black, and they were afraid white students would not like being taught by a black man. And then when he joined the Glidden Company, the paint company, um, his family was the first black family in town, and their house was firebombed. <coughs> now, as a black man at this t period of time, um, he could not get a faculty position at a predominantly white university. So his academic career, um, uh, which lasted through 1935, was at historically black colleges and universities. Uh, Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee, West Virginia State College for Negroes uh, for one year. He hated it there. He really didn't like it. And then he went to Howard University, uh, where he became chair of the department, uh, including all the way through the time when he was in Vienna getting his PhD. When he came back to the States, um, he then left Howard and moved to DePaul University, but not as a faculty member, but as a research fellow in chemistry. <coughs> he did become an industrial chemist, first for Glidden, and he made a lot of money for Glidden with his steroid work. And then in 1954, when Glidden was going to close up their soy products division, he founded his own company uh, with a Mexican uh, subsidiary. Um, and yeah, so... Now, here I have a photograph of the USS Saratoga after a kamikaze hit it in 1945. The material they're spraying on the fire is a soy protein foam, which was known as bean soup. This is a Glidden product developed by Julian. <clears throat> now, did he get over the barriers? Yeah, look. Here's a, here's a stamp with his image. And that building is the Julian Science and Mathematics Center at his alma mater. He was never a faculty member there, but he did end up as a trustee at the PAL. He was elected to the National Academy of Science, only the second African-American to be elected. And he holds 20 honorary doctorates. Now, there are a lot of places you can find information, but the, here are some uh, places for you to go take a look.